Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a senior program manager for Azure Hybrid at Microsoft. In this video, I'm going to show you a brand new Azure Arc feature, which allows you to create SSH connections to your Linux and Windows servers running anywhere using the Azure Control Plane and Azure Arc. One of the big challenges we are facing today as IT administrators or developers is, uh, how can I access my resources, especially in these hybrid work scenarios where we work from home or work from different locations and we don't always have network connectivity to these places where our servers uh, are running. Or especially also in hybrid and multi-cloud environments where we now have servers running in Azure, in our on-premises data centers, in our edge locations, such as branch offices, factories, or retail stores, but then also obviously servers running at other cloud providers too. Like in the past, what I needed to do is actually to have some sort of network, direct network connectivity if I wanted to create a remoting connection, uh, for example, using SSH. So I would just go out and basically uh, connect um, from my admin workstation to these servers. Um, in some cases, I would use a VPN. In some cases, I would probably use a jump post, but I needed to somehow connect to these environments. And obviously, that can be challenging, especially because these environments are growing. It's more distributed these days. And so how do I do this? Because especially uh, with all these security uh, practice in place, we don't always have direct access and we want to make sure that obviously not everyone can access our resources. So how can we actually deal with that? So one thing we can do is obviously we can take the power of Azure as a control plane uh, to manage Azure resources. But with Azure Arc, we can extend that ex uh, control plane to make sure that we can connect resources which are running outside of Azure, such as Kubernetes clusters, but also servers which are running in these other environments. These can be Linux servers, Windows servers, virtual servers, or physical, doesn't really matter. We can connect them to the Azure control plane by installing a agent. And with that, they become Azure Arc enabled servers, which we can now manage directly from Azure uh, in different ways. And I'm going to show you how that actually works. But the brand new feature I'm going to show you is how you can actually create now an SSH connection going through this Azure control plane to these servers in a secure way. Now, let me show you that in just a bit. So here I have a Ubuntu virtual machine running in one of my local data centers. So if I run here, for example, host name, you can see that a server is called TT Ubuntu 02. Uh, I want to show you that in just a bit why this is important, but that's the server we try to manage, right? Uh, so if I do a um, if config here, you can also see the network connection I have here in place. So if I zoom in here, you can see here, it only has a private IP address, right? There is nothing really uh, public to that server. I also did not connect any uh, connection. And so if I'm now in the data center, I can open up an SSH connection to that server. But today I'm now at home. So how do I actually connect to that server? So that is where Azure Arc comes in. So I do, the thing I did is I installed the Azure Connected Machine Agent, or also known as the Azure Arc Agent. And you can see here, I'm running version 1.16, uh, which is currently at the moment where I did this video, the latest version uh, of that agent. And this actually connected the server to the Azure control plane. So let's have a quick look what that actually means. So I'm now here in the Azure portal, as you can see, and I'm already in the Azure Arc Center where I manage and deploy all my Arc resources, depending on what I want to do. Now, the one thing I want to show you is now the Arc enabled server part. So I'm navigating here to servers, and you can see here in this list of servers, these are all servers which I connected um, to the Azure control planes. These are all running either on premises at an edge location or at another cloud provider. So you can see here my uh, TT Ubuntu 02 machine I just showed you. And when I click on it, you can see here, it looks like an Azure resource. It looks like something 
uh, which would be running in Azure, but this one really runs in my local data center. So you can see here, I obviously uh, have a, a resource group. I have it to uh, assign to a subscription. You can see I can even use tagging. And then if I navigate left here, you can see here I get the activity log. I get role-based access control, so I can give permissions on an Azure ID basis to different groups who can actually access and manage that server in the Azure control plane. And then I can also see here, I have a couple of other tools I can use, such as Microsoft Defender for Cloud. I can use policies, update management, change tracking, inventory, Azure Monitor, and many other cool things uh, I want to, to leverage. However, I obviously in some cases need to actually go out and have a direct interactive connection to manage that server. And obviously SSH is a very good tool uh, for doing that. So let me quickly show you how I now can access that server on my uh, administrator workstation here, uh, where I sit at home to actually go and create a secure connection using Azure Arc to that machine running in the data center. So before I actually can connect to that server um, using Azure Arc, I actually need to um, allow that port in this case, port uh, 22, to be open on that specific agent configuration. So what I can do here is I can change that configuration for the AC connected machine agent. And then I do a config set and I say incoming connections, ports, and then I can define multiple ports here, depending on for other features. But in this case, we really want to leverage port uh, 22. I'm going to set this and you can see here, it said it was already set uh, previously to 22 because I obviously tried out the feature, uh, but you can see here, I set now this value to allow. You can also have a look at um, all the settings here. Um, so if I do config list, you can see here, that I can actually see what is actually enabled. And you can see here all the ports uh, which are entered. In this case, it's just port 2022. So now let's switch to my admin workstation. So here I am on my admin workstation running at home. Uh, I don't have a direct connection to that server or a VPN in place. So if I would run now an SSH uh, command against that server, it would obviously fail because I cannot connect to it, right? However, I can now use the Azure CLI and Azure Arc to create that connection. So for that, I already installed the Azure CLI here, as you can see. And I want to quickly highlight, there's also a SSH extension, which I installed um, to actually connect uh, to Azure VMs or now also Azure Arc enabled servers using the Azure uh, CLI, which is pretty awesome. Uh, again, if you already have installed that extension, uh, you might want to update that extension to the latest version. Or if you haven't installed that extension, which allows you to do that, you want to install that. And no worries, we have you covered. We have a link uh, um, in the description below, which explains how, how to do that. So for now, um, I also did a login. So I already logged into my Azure environment so I can access all my Azure resources. And now obviously also my Azure Arc enabled servers. So the next thing I just need to do is basically I need to run a command here. Let me paste that. Uh, and this one creates a SSH connection using Azure Arc. And I just typed the resource group here, uh, the name of the machine. And I said, I hey, use the local username Thomas. Now in this case, I set it up using password. However, you can obviously also uh, use that uh, using certificates. So I just type in the password now. And now what I do is I connect through that server. So if I do now host name, you can see here on the bottom, um, I'm now connected um, to that TT Ubuntu 02 connection running in the data center, right? So that is pretty cool. And I can now start managing uh, that server. So if I do, for example, a if config here, you can again see the IP, the private IP addresses I showed you before. Uh, again, I don't have a direct access to, uh, to these, but again, I can now manage uh, that server through Azure. It doesn't matter where I am in the world. I can now go out and, and manage that, which is uh, pretty cool and obviously in a secure fashion. So let's go and actually um, 
uh, try something else here. So what I can do here is I now used obviously a local username and password. However, what we can also do is we can leverage Azure AD as a logging mechanism on these Linux servers. So what I can do here, very simple, is I can do a app. Um, let me do install Azure AD SSH login. So this is something you can install on your um, Linux machines in Azure, but also now with Azure Arc, you can leverage that too. So I would just do an install of that one. Now I type my password here and you can see here, in my case, I have already installed that um, to be leveraged with that server. Uh, but in your case, it would just install it. Now let's go back quickly to the Azure portal um, to show you something. So I'm here back in the Azure portal again with my two, two, uh, TT Ubuntu 02 uh, machine here. And to now allow my user, my Azure AD user to connect to that machine, I can simply go to the role-based access control feature, go to role assignments. And if you haven't done that before, what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna assign my account here uh, to virtual machine local user login. So that is the right I need to actually now log into that machine. I can obviously assign a group of administrators to have that permission, or I can also uh, just assign multiple users if I wanted to. So if I now go back to my admin workstation here, you can see that I'm still uh, connected here. So I'm gonna exit that connection and I'm basically back on my local machine here. And now instead of using that local user, I'm just gonna remove that parameter here. And you can see here, it will uh, take a moment to quickly lock me in. And now I'm logged into that machine without even knowing a local user. So if I do a, who am I? If I now zoom in here, you can see here, I'm logged in with my uh, Microsoft AD account. Um, so I logged into that machine uh, using my Azure AD credentials. So that is pretty cool. Again, I can log out of this machine uh, again and, and do that. Now, I showed you this now with Linux machines, but guess what? What about Windows servers? I mentioned that it also works with Windows servers. So you can do the same thing I just showed you also with Windows machines here. So if I go back and run this command, I have a Windows server here, which is basically called app01. And again, I'm gonna use a local user in, in that case because I cannot, for Windows, I can currently not use the Azure AD login. So I'm gonna run the same command here. And that server is also running in a data center location, right? So I'm going now to connect to Azure and from Azure, I'm connecting to that um, Windows server. Again, provide the password. So you can see here now I'm connected to that Windows server. It looks very much already like a Windows server. So if I do a dear here, you can see here uh, my Windows file system on that machine. Uh, you can also see that I could go and basically run PowerShell on that machine. And if I do then a get service, I could see all my services running on that uh, specific remote machine. And I could do all my admin tasks. I, can, I basically want to do uh, on that specific machine or do some troubleshooting uh, as well. I hope this video was helpful and I could show you how you can create a secure SSH connection to your service running anywhere using Azure Arc. If you liked that video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I see you in the next one.